know that construction-related waste accounts for approximately a quarter of the uh, landfill volume. Meanwhile, natural resources used in building materials are becoming scarce. Did you know that on an average of 450 condemned houses are added to the city's list for demolition? And in reality, less than 300 are actually being removed every year. Did you know that hundreds of gallons of cooking oil are used by restaurants, institutions, and residents in Pittsburgh annually? And disposal at this scale becomes a considerable concern. Did you know that over 20% of the city's land is vacant? Much of it is unclaimed and as a result has become blighted, impacting communities financially, socially, and environmentally. Did you know there are over 50,000 residents in Allegheny County who are unemployed? And some of this almost 8% is considered unemployable in many industries. So what do these things have in common? They, and many others, are often viewed as waste. When in reality, they are simply being wasted. Each of these wasted items has unrealized potential to become a set of assets, and each one represents a new opportunity. Think back to the aluminum can. What if instead of trash, or even recyclable, we think about it as a piece of art? What if it can tell a story in a beautiful way? What if it becomes an icon? Did you guys make that fish? <laughs> at the art fish? Did you? Did you? We focus on at the art fish? Yeah, Bob. We salvage unique architectural details instead of trying to recreate them. What if instead of waiting for a house to, be, to fall down before we can tear it down, we invest in it? What if we develop stabilization plans rather than demolition plans? What if we divert that used cooking oil from our already vulnerable sewer system and overflowing landfills? What if instead we provide a cleaner burning fuel alternative? What if when we talk about vacant land, we imagine open space instead of urban decay? What if we didn't view green space as a privilege or as an obstacle? What if we empower communities to reclaim control and contribute to the social realm? What if we could entice people to put down the remote and pick up a shovel? What if training, education, and awareness was really an audition for employment in the green economy? So, what if we could change the perception of wasted resources and encourage others to think about them in a new way? What if we could generate enough creativity, enough motivation, and enough expertise to come up with some really innovative solutions? This, in essence, is GTEx's mission. Our organization was founded in 2007 as a social innovation and enterprise. In reality, we're a small group of individuals who each feels they can contribute in unique and diverse ways. Our expertise and experiences allow us to go beyond the boundaries and imagine the possibilities. So, Group Through Energy and Community Health works towards us in several ways. We work through programs in order to target issues of importance, create platforms for opportunities, and advocate through actions. We do so in a very creative and innovative way so that our programs are tested, altered, and launched in a way that allows for maximum feedback and engagement. Uh, Re-energize Pittsburgh launched earlier this week, and it is aimed at reducing residential energy waste throughout Allegheny County. One unique aspect of it is that there's an ambassador program in which it's designed to create, um, eventually create jobs, and strengthen community, so outside of just their typical money saving or energy reduction. Refuel is a hyper-local waste oil cooking recycling program that is in partnership with Braddock-based fossil free fuels, and we turn fuel waste into fuel that runs local trucks, and in turn um, reduces and improves air quality as well as keeping fuel dollars local. So, uh, during the last 60 years, uh, Pittsburgh's population decreased by 50%, leaving all those dark gray areas, which is vacant, blighted land. There's about 300 million square feet of it in the city of Pittsburgh. So Reclaim is our attempt to address that. What we do is we look at reactivating these spaces by using green infrastructure, like rain gardens and community gardens, to not only serve as a center of pride for that neighborhood, but act as an upward spiral of prosperity and opportunity in that community. So we do a lot, and we can't do it by ourselves. So we look at partnering with as many people as possible, and actually this past weekend, I got to talk to some of the experts of reimagining and planning for vacant space. 
and you're going to see a short video clip. Oh no!